we're in SF today. I got invited to an Ubersoft conference and we're gonna look at a prototype for some type of new technology. Supposedly artificial intelligence, a new gaming experience. So you're about to see that in today's video. Get a full in-depth guide on this. See how it goes. Got it. So the project is to present what we're doing here. Uh, yeah. different experiments. Okay. Um, the second one is less impressive, so we will go faster on the second one. Got it. But uh, it show, each of them shows different aspects of what we are doing and what we're doing. Uh, yeah, is it, that's fine. Can I get an over your shoulder shot? Yeah, sure. Okay, perfect. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Nelson, you made it. I'm Bloom, your future resistance buddy. Thought we'd hang and see if we click, you know, for our epic duo. Cool with you? What's up, Bloom? What's in it for me, though? Like, why am I here right now? What's in it for me? You're here because you have a strength that we need, and we offer a sense of purpose and belonging. Plus, we could really use someone with your skills in a world where we're outnumbered and outgunned. Okay, okay. I like it. What's the plan? The plan is to take down the mega corporations and their leaders. We've been working on a new tactic involving disrupting their communication channels and sabotaging their operations. But we could use your hacker expertise to make it even more effective. What do you say? Got it. And um, you see there is the emotion of the character that is displayed here. And you have a relationship with Bart. You can increase as you speak with him. Interesting, okay. And uh, if you want some guidance, there are some goals there. Just to, you know, it's not easy I to see. know what to say. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Just something to guide you, but do whatever you want. Okay, Don't okay. Use it because you want to do that. So, okay. so what is this resistance? When did it form? Like, why do we even not like these megacorps? Like, I like, you know, eating burgers. I see, okay. Our resistance has been around for years, fighting against the oppression of these megacorps who exploit resources for their own greed. Plus, with our sabotage missions, we can provide a satisfying outlet for your skills while also fighting for a greater cause. But enough about us. What about your burger preference? <laughs> uh, ah, the classic case of burgers versus revolution who needs justice and equality when you can have a juicy burger instead time to rethink <laughs> your priorities my friend so basically we had this character this tablet okay it's just here to have something more fun like a companion 100 to get yeah. something more interesting so here and there you know so all right you know I, I usually like my burgers double double with some animal sauce but Bloom, why do you even care about this like why are we here right now why do you what's your beef against the megacorps Well, for me, it's personal. Seeing my home and the world I love destroyed by their actions has fueled my passion to fight back. But as a team, we can make a bigger impact and take down these corporations for good. And who knows? Maybe we'll celebrate with some burgers after a successful <laughs> mission. Oh, my gosh. Okay, okay, I like that. So how many people we... Okay, I like that. How many people are we dealing with here? Like, what's, how big is our squad? Right now, it's just us. But we have friends <laughs> in high places and allies in unexpected places. We may not be a large squad, but we are a determined and resourceful one. And with your skills and determination, we can achieve great things together. Are you in? Okay, I'm in, but you just, you buy me the burgers after, all right? Ha <laughs> Deal. But first, let's focus on taking down those mega corporations and their leaders. Together, we can make a real difference and create a better future for all. So, shall we get to work? This character, all the information, but there is the mega corporation, all this kind of thing. 
the, when he said he, he was wanted to make some sabotage mission, it's part of his background. Got it, okay. And his motivation now is really to talk with you, but the mechanical motivation to convince you to go. To join? To Got it, okay, okay. Because I noticed, like, up here, it seems like there's ways you can play it. So basically, like, getting closer to Bloom would, like, objectively speaking, I could go all the way to two. Exactly. Okay. And, uh, so I'm really positive, like, I'm assuming that bar goes up faster. Okay. Okay, I love it, Bloom. Absolutely love it. Let's do it. That's what I like to hear. Insulting him? Okay. Welcome okay. to the resistance, Nelson. Let's make some history. <laughs> and maybe later we can grab some burgers and toast to a successful mission. Okay. First level of the, the relationship thing. So, yeah. as we want to make it uh, as the next version for games, we made a really gamey uh, uh, UI. So, we can, we can imagine a real game, it will unlock some new mission. Or Got it, okay. More, the bone with him is more close. You can say more things. Uh, is, more would it be possible in the future, too, like when he says, like, speaks to other team members, like you could churn them against each other in a way, possibly? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. My favorite pastime is cycling and walking. It's a great way to clear the mind and stay in shape. And nothing turns around a day like a bike ride. Works like a charm. But when it comes to resistance missions, there's nothing more satisfying than successfully infiltrating a detention center or sabotaging a megacorps operation and seeing the impact of our actions. It's a rush unlike anything else. It's very interesting because you can definitely build relationships and stuff like that and like which really adds another layer because everyone's experience is different at that point. Okay, team, the new drone's in the air. Let's oh, check out okay, how Shadows it, yeah. does with this recon mission. Since it's your first rodeo, don't be shy. Shoot any questions my way, all right? So for the second one, you're watching this video. Uh, There's supposed to be footage of uh, another uh, one of the members of the Got using, it. Using uh, drone to... Okay, and you can talk. I see. Nelson, gather intel and strike back at Alistair and his corporation. All right, we gotta go through that window. But we need to be careful and work together. Do you see any guards in there? Yes, I see it. <laughs> it it's the laptop spotted. Okay. So Shadow, the hurry up. The target is in sight, but so we Shadow, have to hurry act up. That guard might see us. any more guards show up. Let's hack that laptop and get out of here. Yes! <laughs> Success. The drone has successfully hacked into the laptop and is downloading the map as we speak. Now we just need to get out of there before anyone realizes what's happened. Watch out, there's a guard. Watch out. Don't worry, we got this. Just keep an eye out for any other guards and let me know if you see anything suspicious. We're almost there. Hey, Bloom, how tall do you think that guard is? <laughs> Around eight. Oh no, it got, it got shot. that though, around six feet. That's pretty cool. Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That would make sense though, just like what rewatch gameplay and talk to talk to a Neo NPC. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Alright, here we go. Hey Nelson, right on time. So we've got a heavy lift. There are important docks in a vault on the villa's second floor of our worst enemy. Bloom says you're the one to help us tweak the plan. Got the map and details right here. Ready to make it happen? So this is the icon that shows three steps. And okay. The first idea she has, she, she had on her, she has on her, on her mind. You can make it evolve if you find some new, new idea. Uh, there are things around on the table of on your right. Oh, okay. So these are some not so subtle clues of what you can do. I see. Uh, and, then, and if you want to use a clue, you can use them. It's basically the best way to do it and to do what. Uh, if you want to be really creative and do something stupid, yeah, probably probably won't work because basically how we can do it is that we have a list of things that people are working. Got it, got but it. You can't like dig a hole under it or something like that. Yeah. A new ID, she will accept it. 
she would probably say Grand Croix because that's what we got it. Do. Okay. It's, it's a LLM, so basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, that's the magic of it. Definitely, definitely. So, all right, Iron. What options do we got? What do you think? What do you think we got here? Well, for the first step, the only way to enter the building without triggering an alarm of any sort is through the window of the gallery on the second. Well, for the entry point, the best option is to access the gallery's window on the second floor from the outside. But the obstacle is, we'll need a ladder to reach it. What do you think? I don't know if that's the best option. Why do you think that's the best option? Because the other sides of the villa are heavily guarded and monitored by cameras. Plus, Shadow's intel showed that the guard in the lot are biggest threat. We can't risk being seen or heard, so we have to be strategic. Any ideas? I see that you got a, a grappling hook. Why'd you not decide to do that one? That one looks pretty cool. You know, mm. you're right. That could work. We could use the grappling hook to access the gallery's window. Good call, Nelson. Let's go with that plan. Now let's focus on the next obstacle, the guard in the library. Oh, I see. Okay. So, for the second step, we have a patrolling guard in the library. Any thoughts on how to handle him? So was it here you proposed something that was a better idea? Okay. So, uh, because yeah, I can change. Yeah. There was a green check. I, I see. To say that. Okay, that's the plan. We have something for this one. Okay. So now we are going to the next one. What are our options to take out this guard? What are you thinking? We going with gun, gas? What are you thinking? The best approach would be to knock him out silently from behind. We can't afford to make any noise or engage in a direct confrontation. Plus, we don't want to use any weapons unless it's absolutely necessary. Thing is, I got I got heavy steps. I don't think I'm gonna be able to sneak up behind a guard like that. They're gonna hear me real quick. Do you have like something better? Like, can we put him to sleep with a tranquilizer? Hmm. I hadn't considered that. But yes, that could work even better. Good thinking, Nelson. Let's use a tranquilizer dart to neutralize him. It's a safer option and we won't leave a trace. Now for the next obstacle, the camera in the corridor. We're going off track here. We need to get that camera down first with that green. Let's do let's run it back to the smoke smoke grenade. <laughs> oh. Right. Sorry, I got carried away. <laughs> Let's focus on the camera first, then move on to the vault. Thanks for keeping me on track, Nelson. Your insight is invaluable. Oh, I see. Okay, Okay, got so it. let's recap the plan. First, we'll use the grappling hook to access the gallery's window. Then we'll neutralize the guard with a tranquilizer dart. And finally, create a distraction with a flash grenade to get past the surveillance camera. Sound good? All right, now listen up. This is the final drill. Picture this. We've accidentally set off the safe's alarm. We're in a tight spot with no time for second guessing. What's your move? You've got a single shot at this response. Be creative. For the first one, we really have a plan that is what's made for the safe designers. Yeah. This is free for all? Okay, okay. Run as fast as possible. Break every wall as possible. Break every door case as possible. We're getting out. Not a bad idea, Nelson. But let's try to keep the villa in one piece. <laughs> How about using the chaos caused by the distraction to slip out unnoticed? Or if all else fails, maybe a well-timed smoke bomb to blind any guards chasing us. Let's hope it doesn't come to that, though. Ready for this mission? So, I think it's time to put our plan into action. Are you ready, Nelson? 
It's now or never. Perfect. Mm -hmm. The one with the most gameplay. Because truly, kind of a puzzle, you have to find the, the, what is feasible. Yeah. And at the end, we create some quests. Okay. Yes, just for just a UI, but you can see in the real game. I think this would be super cool in the context of like Rainbow, Rainbow Six Siege too. Like if you had new NPCs, you could actually talk to them while fighting and stuff like that. No, 100%. Yeah. It's really, it's really the point to inspire us again. Even at Ubisoft, we've done that. And those are positions you can say, hey, we want to use it for that. But that's yeah, yeah. I mean, people are going to, this is definitely going to get people like, because I know of like video games now because it's like very much like linear, but this adds it so like people will get way more hours on the game. 100%.